I feel like if, if I've got 50%, I'm allowed to claim it. You have to be half to see. Hello! <laughs> We're back. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. This is Blake, our resident bird. And this is Ben, who's really sick and tired of this shit, despite it being away for a month. I, it was built up. It was the, the, the it was the built up for the month. That's all you know. It was built up for the, all the weeks away. It won't take people very long if they're listening to the podcast as opposed to watching to work out that you've returned. Yeah, to be fair, that was the the audio cue that I have in fact returned. And Bird Corner is back in action. Later, somewhat reduced. And what happened to Bird Corner while Bird Corner was gone? Yeah, Bird, yeah, many ups and downs. It got renovated. It got the demolished. That's the other word. And then it got renovated again. No, we're not in the renovation mode. Yeah, we are kind of in the yeah. We're kind of in the um make it work mode. We're in the British team and took the statues from our <laughs> temples. <laughs> no, no, we we ignore our, we ignore that one. <laughs> How was that week in Yu Gi Oh? Uh, let's start with Blake. As I'm told, he has played. Yes. So I did a bunch of online testing with other friends. Uh, yes. Weirdly, have other friends that invited me to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And it was a bit weird. But, um, so I put birds together for potentially what might be a YCS list. Maybe. I thought if, because it's like right at the end of the holiday, if we are back um, in time and I do want to play it, I may as well have a list together. With Macro and D Fisher and stuff, I was like semi-interested but I really don't know how good those cards are I put two macro in the side and two D Fisher in the main and it's still like the deck just wins going first you don't need more going first cards if I'm honest um, you really need more going second cards and none of those cards are going second cards uh, arguably D Fisher is you can kind of like slap it and play but if they're set up on you it's kind of like Um, so yeah, just a lot of testing that, testing like weird matchups. I this one dude, again, it's similar to locals. I somehow can't escape the one person that just wants to run dinos. Um, <laughs> shockingly, they're not wind. Mm. So. Mm. They do run into that problem of not being the. Buff face down. Yeah, that's the other issue. Happened uh, eventually. Yeah, that was the other issue that I went, ah. Um, and what? then I tried to tribute up. It didn't work. Uh, but yeah, so just a lot of testing and, and seeing kind of. I think it's going to turn into almost a going. Almost just rely on. I literally just say, fuck it, dice roll. We go first, we win. Set a bunch of heavy traps. Yeah. Without mine, it's like a bit tricky, but. Oh no, whatever will you do without. I can't stall game. for five turns until I have the hand I need. Yeah, like. You just kind of go for it, you know? Yeah, you flip, harpy and go. Ben, how was your week? My week wasn't too bad. I've, I don't know. Did I had I officially decided last week that I was playing Dragon Age for YCS? Yes. Okay. Continue. The continuation of that. I uh, went X one at locals on Monday, on Tuesday. Did pretty good. Lost to Jake in the final. King. I decided to take a gamble, and it just didn't pay off. I was like, okay, it's just just the way it is, you know. It's the way it do be. Um, yeah, it's just the way it is. Although I did remember an interaction after the fact that could have changed it, but we'll see how that you've goes. You've had that a couple of times where you've had realizations that you made a misplay right after it happened. Yeah, I need to like just be more decisive in like my next move because mm. I'll often like think of my entire line, and then when I'm doing the entire line, I'm like, now this is the part where I do this, and then immediately realize, nope, I was supposed to do something else because I can do that for free in two seconds. Yeah, and I think the tier element. Um deck probably put you in that mind frame of like just think with what you have rather than thinking mm. of what you're going to have yeah because a lot of tier element is like what have you put in the bin what can you actually do yeah whereas this is like get resource a but then when you get resource a often you get access to resource b and then resource b recurs and then you have all these resources and instead of doing that i was like let's go so point of context uh for example today i Kind of shit the bed today. Not really. At no point did I play poorly. Um, all my losses were just hard fought losses where I just kind of lost. Um, yeah. Uh, at one point I like searched the fusion spell, despite the fact that I had was about to resolve a power, which had no target in deck to send a graveyard. Mm. And I was like, oh, I could have just searched a tidying and then dumped that, or I could have searched literally anything else in my deck, 
and then dumped the fusion spell and got an access to fusion spell anyway. Considering I couldn't use the fusion spell, and I knew I couldn't use the fusion spell, getting tidying was a correct choice in every situation. Um, and yeah, that's where we were. Um, that's kind of the weird enough at. on your point. Uh, I'd never thought about that, but uh, in talking to Leo last week, he was saying that Tyr has kind of like warped his way of like playing Yu-Gi-Oh, where it's the first deck where you kind of just go, I don't know what I'm going to get. Uh, have access to I have yeah. to decide that afterwards you and just, it happens and you go okay this is where I'm going now like you're just trying to reduce I your variance as much as possible yeah and then, yeah, yeah. Off we go. and yeah. I think as well it's interesting not only for the person playing the deck it's also interesting for the opponent yeah. in that there's no clear linear play there's not a crux hand point um, or crux point that like you can hit the deck and that's yeah, the end go, of their I turn negate this other than like works. mad yeah. floodgates yeah. um, but like yeah, both players in those matchups are basically just going, okay, if they get to this, I think I can do this, and this will prevent this. Um, it's it's odd. That mirror seems real fucky-wucky. It is. It is very fucky-wucky. Yeah. yeah. Generally speaking, whoever can get to Dweller first is going to be out ahead, um, but at the same time, that can be discounted somewhat if the other players opened enough bestials that they can't just actually get to a play. Yeah. Because getting to the Dweller is super easy. With the Ishizu fairies and stuff, like getting to level fours is beyond easy. Yeah. But yeah, the bestials complicate the matchup. Weird. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, what were you playing? Uh, Ishizu tier element. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Big prep. Big prep. Are you? I'm nearly happy with things. I think okay. the extra deck could use some tweaking. I definitely want to change up the side a little bit. I'm not finding that the super polys that I have in there at the moment are going to be as beneficial as I was hoping. So I'm thinking of changing those out for maybe Twin Twisters or maybe something else. So I just have to work that out. Because at the moment, like, everything else that goes in there is more than fine. I, it's just, yeah, the Super Bowl has never come up. I have also been playing the last two weeks with no side deck. <laughs> so, like, when I Perfect built the this main deck... deck ben. Yeah, when I built... I'm not happy with the main deck. 45 mm -hmm. cards, I got it down, I'm fine. When I built the deck, I literally, like, took out 12 cards to put in the Yashizus at first. And those 12 cards are my side deck. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yep. Yeah, so it's just like, there. Oh my God. You're just playing with an extended main deck. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, do I want to take out a bunch of Ishizus right now and put this in? Yes. Smoke oh, screen. Good thing I've got this. In we go. Yeah. But yeah, I just need better options. I need win buttons in my side deck. Whereas at the moment, my side deck is a bunch of like fair cards. Yeah. My no. side deck needs to be unfair cards. Yes. Absolutely. That's actually a very good, like, right now. Make your side deck unfair cards. Yes. Just make them like unfair for a bunch of different matchups or, or just the matchups you think you're going to see heaps and just yep. side them all in. What's good unfair cards against tier? I don't know, stuff that stops special summoning. Uh, Silent Graveyard. <laughs> Necro Valley? I, I could play Silent Graveyard. Necro Valley cucks him. Oh, I'm just yeah. mean, I thought it was g genetic. Oh, in gen genetic? Generic? <laughs> genetic cards. Yes. DNA surgery. <laughs> True. Make everything. <laughs> Something uh, else. Aqua. <laughs> Aqua Mador. Agua? Aguada? Um, yeah, so quickly on my week. Um, I won on Tuesday. Yep. Um, I had a mirror match. Uh, that was... It was actually one of the few mirror matches that I was enjoying. Um, and I think that's mainly because I was winning. Can't wait for YCS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. And I need to get more comfortable with the mirror because well, it's going to be a lot of those um what was my other matchup I think I versed Dino yeah I versed Dino Kashira that was odd was it Indiana yeah oh okay what da, 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 da. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, I don't know um, wait what's that theme for da, 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 da. I don't know I haven't well, watched what it what was my theme for A team I haven't watched that either with an A team Da, 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 I'm gonna get da, out of this not watching any movies and it's really da, 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 da. Anywho. <laughs> oh yeah we're gonna get copyright claimed no we're not because that is nowhere near the tune that it's supposed to be yeah so uh, mirror match Castira, Dino and then Ben in the finals um, yeah, you just didn't have good mills, and then I had better mills. Didn't, wasn't it like, I blew you out game one, you blew me out game two, game uh -huh. three, I took a gamble and lost. Yes, that is pretty much how it went. It happens. 
It happens. Yeah. Welcome to mill decks. Yeah, I, I set up like the way to counter. So I was like, we're each gonna mill five. I have the way to stop Jake when he mills good cards, and then I milled fucking horribly. Jake also milled mediocre, but his mills were like counters to then my follow ups, and I was like. I don't have any follow-ups, so pass. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, I think I milled, like, most of my shufflebacks. Yeah, and I was like, I milled nothing. I think I milled, like, Lightning Storm, Lightning Storm, uh, two Bestials, and then something else, and I was like, none of these cards Ooh. do anything. Not great. Uh, so, we move on to some news. So, we start with Master Duel. Uh, so, the Duel... The bad <laughs> format. <laughs> Only because your birds were killed. They did get taken out back. Yeah, people are still trying to play them. Stop. You like, can stop. Work it out. My PSA, stop. <laughs> it's a game where you can build cards. Build something else. It's okay. Runics come soon. Runics. Runics are out. Runics are out. Yeah. Runics, Labyrinth, um, I Runic. some Predator Plant, nonsense. Labyrinth Wall. I versed. Jirai no, Gumo. Um, not Labyrinth. I uh, versed Runic not that long Thanks, ago. Thanks, so. <laughs> I versed Runic not that long ago. The thing that cucked them the most with my build at least and i noticed a few other um Despy branded builds is it's a thick deck <laughs> yeah and it gets banished it gets searched and then shuffle back and yeah but it's more so the fact that like they're not whittling away nearly enough of the resources of the deck to stop a thick deck playing yes and in that time frame you're building up resources and you're being able to punch face Tribute Summon Vanity's Fiend. Yeah, no, the one I was versing was like more predicated on the back row floodgates, so like it had skill drain rivalry and stuff like that. Tribute and even then, Vanity's Fiend. Yep. Even then, there's three Duh. fiend monsters that I can have on the board at one point. One of them is Chimera, one of them is um, one of the other Albaz fusions, and the Majesty searches. Yeah, there is no Majesty. Oh, I know. It's still a fiend, though, so Jake can summon fiends, apparently. No, no, it just says no monster effect. I'm just effect, saying... Though. Look, right. it doesn't matter. Tribute someone. Yeah. Anyway, that's just a thing that I noticed. I'm not saying it's happening in every matchup. I'm just saying it's something <laughs> I noticed in my matchup. Jake be like, there's this thing that I noticed that's trending in Master Duel. It's trending in Master Duel. I didn't Duel. say that. Only for there's me. There's a lot of people playing Mech Knights. Every single game I've played, someone summoned one. Weird. It's not weird. <laughs> anyway. This this graph shows. Well, actually, speaking of that. The player see. on the bottom side of the screen <laughs> plays Mega Knight 100% of the time. Side against it, boys. So, as it currently stands as by Master Duel Meta, Branded Despia is still tier 1. Uh, with Runic coming in next, then Pendulum Magician, Lady Lit. Dragon Link, then Sword Soul. I might play Pendy Magicians. Pendulum Magician is actually really AIDS. The Bench. main thing that I don't Bench. like is they've playing the what Valiant. version of the deck is it um it's like build massive board you can't play through haha -ha. is it like the, ha -ha -ha. the dragons surely not no 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 no. what do you mean the dragons no, 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 okay no, 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 you know no, no, what i'm talking no, no, about yeah, right the vortex and no, shit no, no, no. no cool they haven't done that years i know i was like what do you what is pendle and build massive board in master they are in master they're wrong is that what they're doing yeah oh no shit they're doing like so they like, things so it's yeah it's Appaloosa Vortex uh, Savage Baron what the fuck um, no but that none, what the fuck's the, Pendy doing the, 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 do they have, they've got uh, they've, they've been got, able to do stuff for a they've while they've got Electromite they've yep, got um, Astrograph they've got holy the, shit they've got the um, Pendulum Fusions that can copy um, yeah the yeah. FTK cards yeah I've only ever first one FTK though so Weird. I don't know if it's just I might, people I might, don't like to play I might that. have a I might have a diddle. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, a diddle of vortex dragon. Off we'll see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> Off camera, please. Yeah, I might have a. I might have a. Uh, a I fiddle. feel like it's an expensive deck. That's the only thing. I think there's a lot of ultras. Damn, giving Konami more money. Sheet. <laughs> you give the money. I, if I don't, I have to play the game. Both of these things are a problem. No win situation. I just have 4,000 gems for the fun of it. Yeah, that's fair. Ben likes to flex on the fact that he has 4,000 gems, but also doesn't like the game or the... So, funny thing is, thing for the past life. three months, I've said I have 4,000 gems. It's because I've neither played the game to get more, or <laughs> spent, spent them. them. <laughs> <laughs> but I am about to spend them on Runic, and I'll play Runic for five minutes. Uh, What's stopping... Oh, yeah, everything. I was going to say, what's stopping Penny from being good right now? Everything. All yeah, of it. pretty much every uh, obstacle that Konami can put <laughs> in their way. Didn't they give us Astrograph back though? Anti-spell. Yes. 
They gave us Astrograph back, which is a good start. And then Double Iris came back. And then mm -hmm. Skullcrag came back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we still don't have Electromite. Mm -hmm. yep. Electromite can never come back. Nah, it's fine. No, no, no. They released a whole bunch of Heavy Metal First support, and then they still kept it banned. It's never come back. Oh, I see. Yeah, if they were going to do it. They if they were going to do it, they would have done it a year and a half. They already have Electromite line. Like, they have no incentive to actually okay. give it Oh, the, back. the Beyond the woman. Pendulum. Yes. Beyond yeah. the Pendulum. Yeah. The yeah. woman that goes... Do you know how good, do you say how good my knowledge is, knowledge is of cards, but not the names? It's always oh what, yeah, this thing. What they look like in an approximation of their oh, effects. Yeah, ex <laughs> that's exactly it. That's it I, that, I know every card in Yu Gi Oh by that <laughs> by that metric. It adds, but you know, use effecto. No, no effecto, por favor. No effecto. Um, so, as I started with, uh, the Duelist Cup is underway. Um, so, similar to okay. the last one, you get oh, up Jake to. Jake's about to show some brass knocks. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> Weirdly, so did I. I was like, what? I'll get to that in a second. Um, so, it's running until, I think, um, the 18th of December in terms of your, like, getting up to stage one and then for another week or so for stage two, something like that. Um, yeah, the important thing is, Thunder's not there. Yeah. What a shit deck to play against. <laughs> like, on the real. It's really not it's fun. It's so AIDS, and I love, like, I I appreciate that they have to, they just seem hell-bent on having one of those decks within the game at any point. Sometimes they're better than others, like, full power, uh, masterpiece dot deck was, like, a whole thing. But, like, they just have to exist according to Konami. There has to be one. And you just go to a YCS and go, can I not just, like, no, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see Mindstall. I don't want to see Sky Strikers or fucking Draco or like, whatever. The... A lot of these decks involve tributing. Uh, there they do. So you went from Klee to Monarchs to Drew Draco. Yep. All three decks did the same thing. And yep. flew under it. Yeah. Yeah. We had a few years break there where they were like, Sky women. Strikers were like, what yeah, if we gave women. you one lone woman? Yep. And then do you think? Altered the whole deck. Yeah. Do you think with those types of decks that they felt that the mechanic was slow so they decided to make it a tribute thing or they just decided that tribute's too slow so they needed uh, heavy floodgate effects on all of the things that involve tributing. I think it was a, a, what they believed was like an underutilized mechanic of the game where they realized they'd just gone so far into this special summon everything. They were like, see guys... There's another way to summon things. Let's just make it. I don't it. want them Let, to. Neither do I. But I, I genuinely think it was the fact that they were like, "Yeah, look, th this is a way to play." Flanders was like the epitome of. See, you can normal a bunch. It's not special, and we swear to God. But you can just keep normaling, right? Like, just do that. They all also get these effects where it's like, you get to normal summon and teach your opponent about normal summoning. Yep. This card says, fuck special summoning. <laughs> <laughs> no. We are learning about normal summons today, and that is all. Here is my Domain of the Monarch. Yeah. Go fuck I, yourself. I've, oh, that card. I would really like to have been in the room where they went, alright, here's Funders, it's a bird deck, look, all these birds go into each other, and then they cycle in a fun way, and then one person goes, it's a barrier statue of wing beast, and they go, shut the fuck up, shut up, don't worry about it. Look at the, how these birds go into each other. And they go, but nope, nope. Put it out. Give it to the OCG. Is Barry a statue of Droughts a rock? Uh, Droughts is a rock, yes. Why are we not summoning this off them out of, out of Mentipedus? Uh, Because other people are. Ah. Good work, other people. You're doing the job. I was versing an Adamantia player. An emancipator player, not That's, that long no, ago. That is called the man of a man of beds. Players, players. Okay. Anyway, um, onomatopoeia. <laughs> so this the card they're using. I was versing one oh of those God. plays the other day, but then they immediately linked it off into the link to rock chick, and I was like, oh, okay. I don't have to play through a floodgate. Awesome. But then proceeded to summon fifteen thousand more times. Had Barone, Savage, and all that nonsense. I was like, oh, I got too excited too soon. In case you were wondering, you can normal summon if you two of these and then overlay it into Bahamut Shark and then go in there. Oh good. Well yeah. my turn three yeah. strategy is sort torrent, of thing. Torrent <laughs> into Torrent into Bahamut Shark. Bahamut Shark. Into... Totally awesome. And then you yeah. find a way to monster reborn back the, the torrent. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm thumbs up in the camera a lot today. Back to where we should have been with waters spamming the board. Thank you. 
Uh, anywho, uh, moving on to some leaks of uh, some more accessories and things that are coming out. D. Um, yeah, so we get the Destiny signal as no, like just a little letter holder. D. It says D signal. Or Today's signal. Master Duel update is brought to you by the letter D, Jay. <laughs> D. Uh, we also have a summon limit uh, graveyard surround, which is the brass knuckles you were referring to yeah. earlier. So, uh, okay. Yeah. And we also get sleeves and stop uh, with the women. icon for stop, stop. weather painter. Stop. Look, this one is a no. Nope. <laughs> stop with women. I want men. <laughs> yeah, where's my <laughs> men icons? Give me. You have so they, many wait, they, cool they, they cards. They just did Vista Star for us. You do you know how many cool cards they have and how many well designed artworks they have yes. of cards that are like very nicely illustrated and then they just women but like yeah like doodle doodle bino yeah rex yeah right. doodle bino rex yeah 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 <laughs> it does sell in japan you're correct you see they did release that and it's gem knight master diamond oh, for fuck's available sake. since day one in master duel oh god <laughs> what you know what anyway Which uh gem knight master diamond Moving on, uh, so uh, we have some upcoming uh, cards for the Cyberstorm access. Uh, none of them are amazing. Uh, basically, we've got a bunch of support for uh, Super Heavy Samurai for reasons <laughs> I, for reasons I don't understand. It does a lot of the same Wait, shit that Luke's it used to gonna do. Luke's going to be so excited. Why? He's battling boxes. Oh, he is battling boxes. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Arguably worse archetype. Yeah, I know. Sorry, sorry. That's Luke's that's. Gonna be so disappointed. That's, yeah. gonna, that's my bad. What's wrong with being gong strong, Jake? You know the funny part? We were talking about like the Luke that used to live here, not the Luke that actually plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, not yes. that one. No. What's wrong with being gong strong? It's it doesn't do anything. Or rather, it's not this gong. The <laughs> be strong. The archetype doesn't do anything new. It just, it's just more Dang of the one? same nonsense. It's yeah. No, just gong. Uh, but search pillar. But things that people are probably more excited for is the new Sky people? Striker Link monster. Jake, did you just acknowledge Sky Striker players as people? That's I, the nicest just, thing you've ever said to a Sky Striker player. I'm trying to refrain from saying the other yes, P-word I like, usually call them. Bragg's come out in a fit of rage. No, 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 the door handle just did something weird. He broke the door handle off in a fit of rage at Jake acknowledging Sky Striker players as human. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm on board with that. It's calling them human or subhuman? Anyway... I am trying to refer less to them as the other P word that I generally use. True. So, uh, Philanthropists? Not that. <laughs> Pedophile. Does, does that start with I don't know, I took a gamble. I feel like, I feel like <laughs> it's an F. Did it pay off? I don't know, I took a gamble. Let's, let's have a look. I was like, this is a funny word. Phil... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, P-H. Woo! Uh, well, yeah, philanthropist. A person who seeks to promote a welfare of others. I, I did the like spell good. Do. Yeah, Sky Strikers don't, definitely don't no. do that. Anyway, um, it's kind of bad though, this new link. It's, yeah, it's shit. It says it's Sky Striker Ace is it. fine. The yeah, thing but is, it, the extra is tight as, as fuck. fuck. Well, so, not anymore. They don't have to run health. They don't have to run oh, Selene. Celine. True. So, Celine Dion? Um, playing, um, what are they playing, Nons? The Charmers instead to get. They're playing the Charmers yeah. instead. Okay. Like good. The, what are the ones that bring back from the Hermit's Grove? Yeah, Charmers. Charmers. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Anyway, um, so it on summon uh, targets a card on the field, destroy it, but then if you have three or more spells in graveyard, you have to send her to the grave. What? That's so shit. Yeah. I think it's... you don't have to. OTS 28 ulti right then here. If you have three or less spells in your graveyard, send oh, this card to less, the graveyard. Yes. You're a monkey. No, you said it wrong. Oh, did I? Yeah, I, yeah, I got you. But you oh, said I must have read it wrong. The you first said time the I normal text it. for every Sky Striker card, except this one, because for some reason all of them say three or more do this thing. This says if it has three or less, you do something else. Which okay. is just it's weird. not as bad than I thought. They sh I thought it should. Then. I think it. No, they were it. Ugh, who cares? It's shit. Stop playing it. Stop playing the deck. Uh, this can't be another ulti. Yeah, it is. First, yeah. you have to get Rose. Yeah. Then Zeke. We well, don't have to get Rose. Rose came in the starlight. They'll still do it. They, no, will, they, do it. they will do it. They, they will. will. Are you telling me that they don't do Starlights and Ultis? That's what I thought. See Super Bowl. Shut up. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, it, I It's the only example I can think of off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's, there's others that I'm not going to mention. Yeah. <laughs> True sure. Yeah. It's a little different. That was like 15 years apart. Yeah. 
And then they fucked us with the uh, hidden no, walls castle. No. Well, Ulti Trish and Starlight Trish were a fair bit apart. What do you mean, no? <laughs> it was like 10 years. Don't doubt the man, he lived it. No. Uh, what AP, do you mean, no? Shut AP, the fuck up. AP Trish wasn't that long ago. No. What? AP Trish wasn't that long ago. It's not like it was last week, though, which is the point we're trying to make. No, I, I don't accept this. AP Trish wasn't that long ago. AP? What? what are astral you Pack Trish. Oh, okay. Wasn't that long ago. It, it was, firstly, it was an Astral Pack. So it has to have been a decent That's while ago. That's only like 60 months ago. <laughs> what? It's been 60 months since we had Astral Pack. Fuck. Yeah. All those people that use 60 month interest free at Harvey Norman to buy their Astral Pack. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> they own out all uh, when you owe money. Make sure to pay it. <laughs> this is the true reason why the economy is going into the toilet. Fuck. We forgot about our 60 month okay. interest free. <laughs> so can I confirm Astral Pack was the first. There's two ultis, right? Astral Pack 8. Uh, it, but that has it had two ulti printings or am I stupid? I think it's had one ulti printing, right? It's okay. We mo- we're gonna move on to Jake bringing up something. It was really fucking dumb. No, okay. Jake, we're not. Bring up something really fucking dumb. No. Okay. If you want to bring up dumb shit, you can bring up dumb shit. So the OCG did a rulings update that people are now taking as gospel, mm-hmm. uh, despite the fact that in every single time we have an OCG ruling, uh, TCG judges turn around and go. Now that's the OCG, it applies differently over here. And that's Jake's new point of news. That was quite a while ago, wasn't uh, it? It was quite a while ago. However, Thank you, Jake. <laughs> in my bitching and moaning... Seven years is in ten, motherfucker. Uh, ten was an exaggeration, and you know what? It was close. It was hyperbole. <laughs> Old. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Rukalis negates... IP Masquerina. I personally don't have anything against the ruling. I just think it's dumb that people are now being like, the OCG ruled it this way. Despite the fact that that happens a lot. And then we still get fucking stupid rulings like Meltdown works when your opponent fusion summons. Um, question. Uh, is Was the argument that because it changes locations, stupid OCG shit? Because they have I, that honestly, whole change location thing? I fully understand the reasoning as to why people were like, you can't negate my special summon effect with your special summon negator. Um, yeah, I, I, this seems I, super I, straightforward. I, I, yeah, I, they I, then gave like a list of cards, and I was like, "Yep, this should negate all of these cards." Yeah. Yep. Does it say uh, monster uh, like a special effect, oh, special know. summoned by a monster effect, or just by an effect? So it's yeah, any card or effect that includes oh, cool. the effect of oh, special cool. summoning monster. Macrocosmos. So, yeah, Rukalos can negate Macrocosmos. Solemn morning again. Yeah, it's just solemn morning on legs. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think the argument people were making is that its effect was worded in such a way that it wasn't giving, like, it wasn't its effect that allowed you to link summon. It was just allowing you to link summon off turn. It was really weird, the argument that people were making. It's an applied effect. It's dumb. These same people be like, you can't use your IP Mascarina to make um, Link 5. Yeah, yeah. That was the whole thing. Uh yeah. Uh, I don't know. Those same people were like, just because the OCG ruled it that way doesn't mean that we're playing it that way. If Dragoon leaves the field, <laughs> then it comes back. If or get. <laughs> Ooh. If or get. No, it remember, apparently. <laughs> if or get. Yeah. Anyway, uh, while Ben's in rage, we might as well get this out of the way. We oh, have yeah, the make me OGS even 21 more uh, oh, leaks of I the don't LTs. Think, hold on. I think I saw like a blurred, shitty photo, uh-huh. and I think I forget all of them. Okay. Thanks looking at the bullet bill- right. shitty photo right now. All right. Yes, yes, I am. Hit me. So we have. Uh, Don't say anything no, no. yet. Don't say anything. No, no, no. Yet. So. Don't say anything. We're, yet. G- we're getting three meta cards. Yes. Uh, for the best three archetypes. Okay. Kashtira, Tier Element, and uh, Sprite. We okay. knew this already. Yeah, All right. That so, was in the press release. What is the one uh, Kashtira card that you think is a meta staple in every deck? You're asking the wrong question. Blake, what is Kashtira? I don't know. <laughs> Oh wait! Okay. No wait. Uh, the fucking thingy. I've played against this. No, actually, I didn't. I summoned a barrier statue and they couldn't play. Uh, so <laughs> actually, I tested against this and I just dumpstered it two so, games in a row. So I don't so know. I'm gonna give you two choices. Yeah. Okay. And you get to make an ulti out of one. All right. Uh, the hundred dollar ultra rare that on summon free summon by the way searches itself and if your opponent activates a monster effect, banish it. Okay. Banish one card field. Yeah. Or literally any other fucking card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hit me with the cards and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, so we have Sprite Jet. No. 
Oh, sorry, Sprite Elf. I do this all the time. Okay, I Elf, say... the one acceptable one. However, okay, the one that will get banned. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Good card. Also, you don't play it at three, so it makes it easier to get, sure. It's the two of. Yeah, so it's a... Soon to be a zero of yeah. when it gets banned. Yeah. Uh, next we have... This card's going to be banned by the time we even get it in OTS packs. Yep. Tier Element Rhino Heart. What? Oh, no. Uh... Yep. No. Just print the two of. Make the two of an ulti. Uh, like... Well, you're probably going to have to play three of it once, uh, like, Look, Sharon I... gets... Well, the so this is the thing, I right? Like, have been... it's That is fine, but there's a very clearly better choice as they could have made. Yes. Yeah. Which is weird. Yes. It is, I think you're right, it's a bit telling. It's a little bit telling. They should have just printed Tick Colors. Yeah. Again, the one that's going to get banned, but rather... I don't think they'd ban Kit Colors, do you? That's how you Put take... One. If you... So oh, if you want to murder the, yeah, yeah. Element, So they're going to but... spend the next nine months being like, hee hee, Sheeran to one, hee hee, Merle to one, hee hee. <laughs> Fuck, we need to ban Kit Colors now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this is still here. Yeah. Fair. But yes, another one that I don't like. Okay, and then the, the shitty... And then Kashira Unicorn. I don't think I've seen that card. Uh, so that one searches a Kashira spell or trap on summon. And if your opponent activates a card effect, I think it can banish a card from the extra deck face down. $60 ulti. Yes. In fairness, this card's about a $40, $50 ult card in itself. When it came out, it was 10 bucks. It's simply $40 or $50 because people are like... Ooh, they've got to hit Tyrellment one day. Ooh. Inflate the market. Shut up. The she array of voices oh. is... It's... it's oh. They... they ha -ha, The secondary market will rule the universe. Ha-ha! 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 Like, the, the, the one constant... The one constant they have to make the game cheaper... Fuck the reprints! Ha -ha! Yeah, legitimately, like... They just don't give a fuck. <sighs> Remember when your punishment as a super and everyone was like, nice. Yeah, that was that was nice times. Yeah. No, fuck is. They have like an inbuilt way to make the game cheaper, but whatever. It'll be interesting to see what would they actually reprint in the OTS outside of these ultis, whether they It'll do be a mystic time in common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the list already happened and breaks yeah. by the reason to need that card, just like the last three OTS packs. Um What's the current OTS? Uh, Luba. Oh, yeah, cool. Ray. And the other one. Ghost. Repop into Chase. Yeah. The only Whishing. Good one. Whishing. Yeah. Remember when you used to Ghost Reaper, um, Dante? Good times. Good times. <laughs> Bragg is, uh, shaking his head profusely. What's next in news, Jake, that's not gonna depress Ben? Uh, mm, okay, that limits me somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's just move on to Discord. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description Genuinely. below. Was there any more news? Um, there was an announcement of a remote dual YCS just after our YCS, like, literally two weeks after. I thought they were going to announce ages ago. Oh, YouTube, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! did a cross-dual tournament. Oh, they did! True. I acknowledged it for 30 seconds and the stream crashed. Uh. I thought it was our internet, only to no. realise it wasn't our internet. And it was just Konami crashing because they had to put four different people into a stream at once. I, um, it was on at the same time as Originals for Pokemon and I, they went into a break and I switched over and it crashed and I went, okay. Good work. Goodbye. I would imagine <laughs> if they ran it on a donkey server that it but might end up having issues. Billy. Breaks. Commentary. Fan. <laughs> Fantastic. Fair. That was also... God, uh, how much are they throwing at him to, like, get him to promote Crossdoor? How did... Billy how, Breaks, but, like, just works for Konami nowadays. But how... But aren't they, like, super PG? Like, why are they hiring someone that with, like, mm. released a video of his... Mm. Mm. Oh! <clears throat> what do you mean? It I happened! Wish, I, wish to re I wish to retract any implications <laughs> that Blake has just made. We move. It's not <laughs> us! Welcome back to the Cowboy for Game Discord. Uh, hey, of course, yes. Discord in the description down below. Are you um, stealing my fucking thing? No, I've got a new thing. Uh, this week, uh, make sure to head down there. We're taking polls for uh, product of the year, card of the year, a whole bunch of year-end stuff. It's down there. Head down there. Go C4G vote. Game Awards. Tell us what your favourite moment from this year was. Yep, please provide us with a uh, timestamp as well so we can yep. clip it and so I can uh, get a bit properly. of a compilation together. 
Um, the sooner you have those together, the better, because we are getting up to that time of year where we want to do this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, please get into Discord. Uh, Timestamp. All next Saturday doing this. So yes. Yeah. Okay, our first question this week comes to us from Ragai. Hey! Uh, what is your approach to deck building for best of one in Master Duel? Oh, I'm currently on a streak of going up against one type of deck. Oh, wait, do we? We did this question. Yeah, we did this question. Sorry, Ragai, you're not first question. Uh, Bye, Ragai. Actual first question comes to us from 6i6. King. Uh, at what point in a Yu Gi Oh career is it appropriate to start judging? Um, oh. And he said judging interactions more so. So I think we can probably put this into two sort of questions like at what point do you feel that locals you're knowledgeable enough to tell people this is how certain rulings work and then Five again years. how long until you feel like you could actually I, judge a tournament you know what's funny i think it completely depends on how um active you are so obviously you need time but then how active you are in the format i feel like during like hard sweat season of a couple of formats i was in i could have told you any interaction with any deck in the fucking format back to front but then even though i'd pl after that going to zoo format i didn't understand zoo anywhere near well enough to make those judgment calls so even though i had the experience and like i was playing the best i ever had, i don't think i understood that format well enough to say yeah this is this niche interaction between this zoo card and this zoo card i think it's completely dependent on like how much you're sweating the game at that point mm -hmm. Like, honestly. You don't need to know any interactions of the format. Just know the right people. <coughs> Oi. <laughs> Fix this shit. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, there's definitely points where I've felt like if Same I knew... A, if I knew a lot more niche interactions or a lot of old school interactions that I could probably, like, judge a tournament. Um, I think the thing that would carry me the most in that regard is I can get loud. Yeah. You just have to say things directly with confidence and tell them to shut the fuck up. And if you, they have you any, also be like purple nightfall just comes back. Yes, and then say if dragoon comes back, it remember. It remember. Oh, well, you have fifteen it examples of it not doing that. Now nah, fuck you. If forget. If forget. <laughs> dragoon very forget. Uh, but yeah, uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, like honestly, <laughs> if, if somebody's played the game for a <laughs> long family. time, <laughs> he's he like, where did I come <laughs> from? <laughs> Who is my family? <laughs> he fell into the banished pile and was like, whoopsies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I come back now? How do I get there? Holy shit, how do I end up here? Rabbi! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's been two years and we're still on this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not forgetting. Uh, I do not forgive and I do not forget. Um, I'm like no, it has been two years. It's only been <laughs> he forget. He forget. Oh. Uh, he, he still doesn't remember the judge. Um, I, hate, I hate for gore. But yeah, just obviously if you have somebody your locals just play for ages, like they probably have seen more shit, but... Look, That's ben, not an indicator. Ben, we could do a whole half an hour on Forgetful Dragoon, but we need to move on. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Uh, I think Konami forgot about Dragoon too. Don't know your I ruling. think the TCG forgot about Dragoon. Yeah, That's, we did. It's so fucking Back. wild that, like, it was a huge threat in the OCG. They banned the card. It's not even on Master Duel. Like, you can't even, like... I don't think you can look at, like, crafting it. I think they're just, like, trying to erase it from people's memory. In the TCG, people are like... Wee. Oh, oh and okay. you know the best part? It was so many people's only action in a turn. Mm. You would do that, and that is it. And go, here you go. And that was a completely valid thing to do. Wild. Absolutely wild. Uh, so, next question. Uh, I believe also comes from 6 i No, my answer to that last question was five years. I think, yeah, I think, like, summed it up um, fairly well. Like, I don't think you can put any time on it. Um, if you've come from other TCGs as well, if you've come from other TCGs as well and you're sort of um, oh, hard, confident yeah. in the way that you can judge a card game like sometimes if you've come from one game and you go to another you just pick up on it a little bit quicker because like three years of year with scrubs yeah uh, next uh, question uh, two and a half years if you top next question uh, what is the perfect tech for new dark world strategy uh, to make it better or to stop Brag, it? Brag, can you... I don't no, really think okay. I need to reinvent so the wheel with Who's got the Dark World deck sitting here? Both Activate both Dimensional Fissure. Okay. What? Yeah, Against literally, them. Oh. Literally any of the side cards for Tier Element. Tier Element? Just, just hit them. Yeah, just, just use your Tier <laughs> Element side. Wait, did Dark World need to be discarded to the graveyard specifically? Yes. Uh, I don't know. And they activate in graveyard. I just wasn't sure if they had like dangerous text, like they just needed to be discarded rather than discarded. I don't right? know. Because the dangers can be banished and they don't give a shit. 
Yeah. True. Yeah. Well Soul drain. Soul drain. We need time. Oh, uh, then no. You can uh, if you don't use dweller against them because they actually activate uh, in the discard. So like when they're halfway between your hand and the graveyard, they activate. There oh, you I was go. Saying, Graffin doesn't care. Nah, no, 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 they activate in the discard. So when they're halfway across, they go. I activate now. Yay! Hey! So if you're like, stop me. <laughs> so if you're ab animating the effect, it'd be like rather than it happening in the graveyard or happening in the hand, it'd be like yeah, halfway they're through. halfway through to the graveyard. Like, yeah, it, it's like it yes. does that thing on Master where it does this and it goes. Huh! And then just yeah. <laughs> oh god. Spicy take in them. Danger I don't, I don't, cards. I don't think you need to reinvent the wheel with them, honestly. In like draw cards, discard cards. I don't think you need to play Dark World. Dark I'm just gonna throw out links. Just don't do that. Do you even know what they do? Turn one, you nut. I listen. I saw Dark Worlds in like cards back to deck from their, from opponent's hand. I don't. Okay, same as any hand rip deck. Turn one. I don't care. When the what's the shitty fucking uh, deck lock and played? Uh, Dynamist. No, 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 Dylan. Yeah, yeah, it's same as Infernoble. You know what? Fuck, don't care. They could be. You could tell me it does it ninety eight percent of the time, and it's the best deck in the world. I'd still. Ah. No. So here's here's. It the just thing. reminds me of Logan, and that it, upsets me. It's gonna be able to put four cards back in the deck at any time. Yeah. And then you're still gonna go to a tournament, and a guy's gonna be like, "You should see my Dark World strategy." <laughs> Pause. I dare you to make me discard a card. <laughs> 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 Do it. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> Deep uh, um, yes. Yeah. Uh, next one is. Do, 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 do. Sorry, there's just again a lot of stuff. Uh, next one is from Crobat Five. Crobat uh, V. Yeah. Uh, Draw six. Do you ever put put what? Put one off random. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, okay, yeah. Do you ever put off one off random cards in your deck that uh, might help you in certain situations, um, or do they make your deck too inconsistent? I side deck those cards. Yeah. There'll be some if they're like a massive blowout card. Sometimes you'll be happy to play the one off. Like for a long ass time, I was just putting oh, feather one, duster. Yeah, in, I was getting, one feather one duster off. was literally what I was going to say. I guess oh, when yeah. Rageki was at one, we used to play it because you would. It would help go second. <laughs> oh god. I oh, know. Blowing up the ball was relevant. What was the one off card that we were discussing today that you'd play the one off to care about your one off? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Me and Jake were discussing um, it. Yeah, yeah, branded opening. Yeah. Oh. Playing branded opening in your Bisted to Element list so that off your one off Soradir, you have a card to send. <laughs> sure. Because then it protects your fusions. And you're milling it anyway, so it could just sit in graveyard as a protection for fusions. I don't mind yeah. it as an idea. I'm not saying to do it at all. Please do not take this. As you draw the one of for your one of. Uh, so next question. Again, we're back to six r six. Uh, what is your most used emoji when communicating with friends? Oh, it's I the, don't use emojis. It's a laughing, crying face. What? Yeah, because it's like super generic. It can be like laughing at me, laughing at them. Oh my God. This is yeah. stupid. Yeah. Yeah, Ben doesn't. At, at most, you'll get a thumbs up. And even then, it's me clicking the thumbs up button, not going through a fucking emoji. <laughs> Hold on. I'm checking him. I send the. I, I am very against emojis. Mm. I send the. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> are, you, are you scrolling too? Yeah. I send the grimace emoji. <laughs> what? I approve that emoji. Oh, he like. Yeah, it's the, just the straight teeth one where it's like. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you meant literally Grimace from yeah, Mac so is going on. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. Oh my god. Mac is emoji app when? I just want a Grimace that's just waving. He's just like, hey. Shit. I'm that's Grimace. How emojis work. No, but he's like midway and he's like, hey. Shit. He's right. He doesn't use them. Yeah, I don't I use emojis. Rat puke face. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, the rat is good. Uh, again, our next question is from 6R6. What is your favourite type of effect? Oh. Um... Effects. Pay life points to search a card. <laughs> what amount of life points? Oh, you'd love Exorcist then. Returning to hand No, because I'm not a nonce. Yeah, but they all pay 800. I know. All of them. I know. I keep getting told. Jake... Any time a card <laughs> pays any amount that is 
500 to 1,000, anywhere in there, people are just like, um, oh, bro, do you know the amount of people that were like, Golden Lord? And I was like, no. Um, what does he pay life points? Doesn't, oh, the uh, fucking yeah. spell. That yeah, yeah, yeah. got pay eight. Um, it's been so long since I've seen anyone play that card. I just see the floodgates. Uh, and... I like a good sub out and summon things. Start a battle phase. Whoops. Yeah. I like a good, like, End of battle a, phase. A Buster Dragon. I like a, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of this thing goes <laughs> and summon other dude. Except Ritual Beast. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they do. I still haven't read them. Don't care. They go two here, one here. One here, two here. All Ritual Beast players are cheaters. Like, all yes. of them. They don't know yes. their deck well enough. This is true. This is true. I know they have a restriction somewhere in that deck that they ignore. I know they do. I just don't know where it is. The restriction is their brain power. <laughs> wow. Shots, <laughs> shots fired at Nathan, three, who hasn't played this game. three macro, bro. They're still not going to play it. Yo, I bet you they're going to get Ritual Beast players at YCS because of three Oh, there'll macro. be like three. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to be stoked. Bro, hey, they came Jake, all over their walls. That's like 8% representation in Central America. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite type of effect. Um, I was thinking about this. It's either an Omni Negate or a floating effect. I do like a float. A float? Yeah, yeah. Floating is nice. Jake loves when he goes down the pool and there's just a floaty. <laughs> um, what about Jake likes uh, discard two waters and then hit for a lot of damage yeah that, that yeah. would be fun yeah weirdly good question yeah weirdly I don't mind interesting it. question Ben your favourite type of event I already said it five times what we move I don't remember this. do you remember this I did he know. say it I did say his own conversation okay I do have my um, own conversations <laughs> um yeah, that does conclude us for questions as well. Damn. So, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, as stated before, please jump into our Discord, uh, fill out the Google form for your favourite card, set, and deck of the year, as well as uh, giving us time stamps for your favourite moments. Uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and we will catch you again next week. Ah! Peace.